Good evening and you're very welcome here to Own Big for this Errigal Junior Football Championship decider between Balearn and Craig Ban. And you'll see in the middle of the park there is the two captains and the referee Balearn there in your picture at the moment. Just going through their final limbering up there but now in the middle of the park. Kieran Quinn from Ball on the Screen is the match official and in there with him is Jude Dixon who will be acting as the fourth official here in Owen Beg for this keenly contested affair we do feel that both sides are well matched and one we are very much looking forward to Balearn against Craig Ban. Balearn getting a bye straight to the final this year so this is their first championship match of the year in the final just three teams in the junior championship Desert Martin pulling out they were due to play Balearn in the semi-final but Desert Martin not fielding a team this year well, Craig Ban overcame Dungiven in their semi-final on a high-scoring affair that day. So Craig Ban with that win under their belt, winning 4-12 to 2-13 against Dungiven. So we'll just run through the two teams, starting off with Balearn down here to my left-hand side. They will line out with Kira McAleary in between the posts. The full back line of Michaela Doherty. Kiva Higgins is the team captain at number three, and Michaela. Mullen at number four. The half back line then of Aoife Mullen, Adri Adrienne Bradley at number six, and Kate McFerrin. The midfield pairing then is Tegan Mullen and Emma McCluskey. The half forward line of Orla Hull, Clodagh Moore, and Mary Thea Tria McGlinchey. And the full forward line of Cara McCluskey, Olivia Doherty, and Roisin Barr. And the team management is Anthony Mullen and the coach DJ Moore. And Craig Ban's side, down to my left or right hand side, the scoreboard end here of Owen Beg, with Danielle McKinney in between the posts, Megan Gormley, Tamara Hudson, and Ashley Mortimer making up the half back or the full back line, apologies, Shanna Conwell, Geraldine McCluskey, the team captain at number six, and Anna Sharkey. Midfield pairing then is Mairead Mortimer and Bruna Feeney. Half forward line of Dervla Devine, Clara Moore. Moore, Aideen McGonagall and the full forward line of Chloe Conway Orla O'Kane and Kiva Devine and they are managed by Gregory McGonagall of course his daughter lining out there at number 12, Aideen so a family affair and this is a family affair when you look at the Craig Band side number 4, Ashley Mortimer and Mairead Mortimer are sisters so as as I said, looking through the two teams, they'll be looking for big performances. We've seen a number of them already this year in our live stream encounters. Aoife Mullen for Balearn was lining out for the county under 16s. Clodagh Moore played a big part for the minors, the county minors on their way to the, the Ulster title. And also Orla O'Kean for Craig Ban at number 14 played a massive part for the county minors as well, while Kira Moore. Of course, as part of the senior county panel. So, a lot of them have experience of county scene on big occasions like this. It all counts. Conditions, while it is nippy, it's dry overhead at the moment, thankfully. And hopefully it will stay like that. And just looking at the flags, they're not blowing too much. So, I don't think the breeze is going to have a major effect on this one. As we're going to just pause for our Nevean and our national anthem. If you don't know, Balearn in the red and white, Craig Ban in the green and white, and Craig Ban 
will be defending the scoreboard end in this opening half. So as we look out here from the covert and the seated stand here in Obeg, they will be playing from right to left in the opening half. The man in the middle, as I mentioned, was Kieran Quinn from Ballon Screen. Either side, two lines people, Tarla McVeigh is over in the far line, while Lee Casey's down here in front of us on the stand side, the covered stand side. So the players making their way into the positions. No changes to the either starting side. We were informed they're lining out as they were selected. So this should be a good one. The junior championship title. While the winners do not go on to represent the county in the Ulster campaign. It's still a massive honour to lift the county title. So the scene is set. The man in the middle, as I said, Kieran Quinn. About to get this one underway and he does so. Straight into the action is Craig Bann. First in possession. Raid Mortimer lets it long and there's a chance maybe for Craig Bant already. The race after this one, but it's going to be one. Oh, it is one by Craig Bant. I thought it was going to be the Balanier and Gert, but Craig Bant coming forward here, trying to create the first chance. It's a dangerous effort coming in, but the goalkeeper watches it. She's under pressure in there, but she did well. Did Kira McAleary because putting her under pressure was Kira Devine. To Belier now have got their hands on the ball. Coming up on the far wing. The ball into the centre there to the centre half back. Adrian Bradley. She clears her lines over here, and it's a good ball over here. And a chance, and the referee's whistle sounds. There's a foul there on Tegan Mullen, and she plays a quick up along the wing. And it's the corner, or the wing half forward. I thought it was the corner back there, but it's the wing half forward. Mary Tia McGlinchey that was in position. So Belier trying to break through here now at the midfielder, Tegan Mullen. Tegan Mullen's ball in there, but the defence cleaned that one up, but the referee was playing the advantage for an earlier infringement so he's going back to give the free to Belier which is going to be taken here by Claude Moore Claude Moore's low ball in there soccer style back again looking for Moore Moore oh it's a fancy pick up there from Moore she has a chance to go through here she's going in she might think of goal here Moore's still going but she taps it over the bar the opening score for Claude Moore the county minor star opens the scoring in this junior tie final Live with thanks to SBS Productions. And that kick out goes straight to the Belier and Gert. And she's racing after it here is Roisin Barr. But gives it back with the referee's whistle sounds again. And this a chance for Craig Bant to extend their advantage in the early stages. And do let us know wherever you're tuned away and who you are supporting as an effort goes in. And sails between the posts from the full forward there. Olivia. Doherty with the free and with the point to extend Belieren's advantage out to two points to no score and again it's Belieren on the attack here with the opportunity but just slips through the hands there of the girl that just got the point which was Olivia Doherty so Craig Bant just trying to settle into the contest here and that's good play there from the wing half back but she's closed off but there to help her out there is Megan Gormley Gormley clears the ball up along the line and now they're trying to work their way out here is Anna Sharkey Sharkey put under pressure referee playing the advantage but the ball's on up along the line and it's up there and picked up by Kira Moore Kira Moore's experience they'll be looking for it for Craig Bann in this junior final and there's a good ball in here and there might be an opportunity going through and going here was that a push in the back it looked like it and the referee says yes it was the wing half back was in there Aidy McGonagall and the referee says it's a penalty that it was inside the box so a great chance here for Craig Bann the nudge in the back there on Aideen McGonagall as she broke through. And a chance for Orla O'Kane. From the penalty spot. In the early stages with just over three minutes on the clock. Orla O'Kane comes forward but she takes her point. Got under it. But it is a score for Orla O'Kane. With the penalty for Craig Bann's opening score. And Sharon Bell wishing good luck to the Craig Bann girls. Kira Dehan wishing Belier in the best of luck as Kira Moore gathers possession coming through the centre now is Brona Feeney Feeney sidesteps the challenge Feeney gets the effort away referee's playing the advantage though so he's going to go back for the free that's nothing accord from Feeney's effort so a chance here for Craig Bann although it's quite a bit out it would be a decent kick but one that Orla O'Kane is well capable of popping over the bar as she showed for Derry in the minor championship this year on the way to the silver title. 
in the Ulster campaign. So a chance here for Orla, who took the point from the penalty spot. And here she comes now with the free. She's got plenty of height. Has it just gone to the wrong side of the white? Yes, it has just gone out the far side of the post and out wide of the target. Interestingly, the goalkeeper, Kira McAleary, not hitting the kickouts. It's the full back here and the team captain, Kiva Higgins, taking the kick out for Belairn. But this one will do well to keep it in play over on the far side, which he can't do despite the best efforts there of Tegan Mullen. But Craig Pan have the sideline ball. And she was trying to steal a few yards there, but Tara McVeigh was having none of it. And she plays it into the centre, but she's given away. And Aoife Mullen, and she's caught high there. Aoife Mullen right in front of the referee. Might have been accidental, but it was still a high, a high tackle. I suppose something Aoife would be used to. As she is an All-Ireland boxing champion. She's used to getting those knocks, but that's in a boxing ring, not on a football field. But she's made of stern, strong stuff, so I'm sure she'll be back on her feet very, very quickly indeed. Gives me a chance to say hello to Kira Lagan, tuning in, wishing Belair and the best of luck as well. And so too is Julie Doherty. Passing on their best wishes. And wherever you're tuned away, do let us know what part of the country or the world you are watching in from. As Belier come down here in front of us with the midfielder, Emma McCluskey. McCluskey drives it long, but just comes off the Belier girl and is picked up by the corner back there, Ashley Mortimer. She gives it off now to Aideen McGonagall. Likes a long ball away over to the far side. Just goes over the head and gets to Orl O'Kane. Quick offload from O'Kane there now towards Chloe Conway. Conway's ball into the centre. Picked up by the other corner forward. Keeva Devine. Devine's effort is a good one. And it's in and it could be in the back of the net now. In following it in. I'm not sure if it was in at the start. But it's definitely in now from Devla Devine. It was Kiva, her sister, that sent the ball in. Between the crossbar and the post, it come back out. And there was Debra Devine to palm the loose ball into the back of the net for the opening goal for Craig Ban. And they lead by 1-1 to no score. They've responded from the early two points for Belier. And there's a foul down there. Shanna Conway is fouled and she leaves it for Kira Moore to drive long. In there looking for Orlo Kane, but Kiva Higgins read that one well. And she spreads it over to the far side now. And that's well picked up there by the wing half forward, Orla Hull. Hull trying to get away from the challenge there. There's a little toe poke from Hull. I don't think she meant to do that. And then she puts the foot in as the Craig Van Geer had the hands down. And it's the midfielder that's going to take it, Bruna Feeney. It's a 1-1 to two points in favour of Craig Ban with just over seven minutes on the clock. It's been a lively opening here. And here's the goal scorer now, Derbla Devine. Offloads it to Aideen McGonagall. McGonagall's long fist forward. Looking for the corner forward there, but she loses possession to Chloe Conway. And Belier tidy up that loose ball. Over here now to the, the centre half back. Adrienne Bradley clears her lines. Bradley over to the far side, but only waiting on that one there is Bruna Feeney again. Feeney's long delivery in and it looks like it's a direct route from Craig Bant. Letting the ball in around the danger area, but this time it's well read over there by Kate McFerrin. McFerrin fists it forward and takes the return and here goes McFerrin. McFerrin though drops the ball. She was thinking of soccer styling it on up the field, but she instead she picked it up and laid it off now towards Tegan Mullen. Mullen coming forward here, goes down under the challenge. The referee says to play on, and she does exactly that. And here, But the pass in there is well intercepted by the centre half back and the team captain, Jeremy McCluskey. Coming out now is Kira Moore again. Moore just on her own 45 metre line, spreads it over to the far side, but it was well read over there by the wing half back, Aoife Mullen. Mullen. Fists it forward and might be a chance here now for the midfielder again coming forward. Tegan Mullen. Mullen spreads it out to the other corner. And the effort coming in and the effort goes to the wrong side of the post and wide. It's a wider pace but that goal from Derbla Devine is the score that separates the sides at the moment. As she palmed that loose ball in. Hello to Angela Mohan tuning in from Philadelphia. Wishing Kira Moore and the Craig Ban girls the very best of luck. Well, they've started brightly here in Ombeg as the long clear inside of defence again, but it's only as far as Eva Mullen. Mullen goes down under the challenge. Filed there by Aidy McGonagall. Just inside the 65 metre line. She's looking around her here, Eva, to see who she can give it to. Looking for a little bit of movement. Plays it right into the corner, but the 
be doing well to keep this one in play and it's going to drift out and Leah Casey the sideline official will signal that this is a sideline ball to Craig Ban, which is going to be taken by Mairead Mortimer so Mairead playing it into the centre and it's well taken in there by the wing half back Shanna Conwell lays it back to Kira Moore back to Conwell again Conwell now changing the gears driving forward looks ahead of herself looking for the full forward Orlo Kane Orlo Kane got a, a hand of it there and the quickest to react is Kiva Devine Devine bends her back and gathers possession but she's given possession away good defending from Balearn another heavy challenge going in there and the referee sounds the whistle and the Balearn support looking for more than just a whistle looking for a little bit of action to be taken Kieran Quinn happy enough just to give the free on this occasion and maybe just a little ward in the ear but it was good defending from Belier and the half this free and it's Aoife Mullen that takes it but Conwell reads that one but that's a good hand in there but picking up the loose ball was Jeremy McCluskey McCluskey drives it long again that direct route but it's well picked up again by the Belier defence and they gather possession way over on the far side coming forward again and it's a good ball there and it's good play and the wing half back coming forward Kate McFerrin McFerrin's long delivery in there but it was well read by the cornerback Ashley Mortimer but she's given possession away and it looks like another high challenge going in there the referee says yes it is and it's going to be a free in to Balearn and an opportunity here for Clodemur who has a point to her name already but it's going to play it short plays it over here to Aoife Mullen Mullen has the opportunity Mullen coming forward but she just rushed it a little bit and that will go down as a second wide for Belieren it's a lively start here in Ombeg in this Errigal Junior Football Championship final coming to you live with thanks to SVS Productions Terence Ryan and Kirsty, the SVS team bringing you all the action here and here come Belieren again into the full forward an opportunity here maybe for Olivia Doherty and the opportunity there to the back of the net a goal for Belieren a wonderful finish just waiting to see the girl when she turns round it looks like it's Clodemur it was indeed Clodemur with the wonderful finish into the top corner of the net for a wonderful goal for Belieren who now lead by one, two, to one, one. And the referee's whistle sounds for a free to Craig Ban. Kira Moore looks ahead of herself, looking for Orlo Kane again. Orlo Kane gathers possession. She might take on the full back here. She is, she's bearing in on goal as Orlo Kane just dropped it at a vital stage. And that gives the opportunity there for Geraldine, or not Geraldine, Adrian Bradley to come across. But it's out for a 45. So 45 for Craig Ban. That wonderful finish from Clodemur right into the top corner, giving the goalkeeper Danielle McKinney no chance at all in the Craig Ban goal to put Balearn back in front. And what has been a rip roaring opening 13 minutes of football as Kira Moore places the ball on the 45 metre line for this 45. And plays a good ball in as well. Oh, it just slips through the legs of the corner forward there, Kiva Devine. And the goalkeeper gathered possession. Kira McAleary. And she played it out and found her player. And the jersey being tested there on the Belieren gear. She just leaves it here for Eva Mullen, who's now going to leave it, I think, for her full back and her team captain, Kiva Higgins, the full back of Belieren. As the ball is drove forward here, it just slips through the hands of Kira Moore. And then the ball's in there, was the hands down, referee says no, and the corner forward coming here is Cara McCluskey, McCluskey gathers possession, coming forward, jinx inside the challenge there, McCluskey still going, lays it off now to the centre half back, which is Adrian Bradley, but good play again from Craig Ban. they read that one, and they have possession back again, Kira Moore spreads it away over to the far side, looking for her midfielder, Brona Feeney, Feeney bends her back under the pressure there of Emma McCluskey, but Feeney knocks the ball long again but the referee spotted a little nudge on the back of the corner forward Chloe Conway so it's going to be a free to Craig Ban. 
between the 45 and the 65 and Kira Moore is going to be the free taker and I'm sure this is going to be launched in around the area again looking for Orlo Kane Orlo Kane's in behind trying to find the space to get the effort away plays it back over her shoulder looking for the corner forward the effort comes in has it got the legs to get over the bar it's dropped into the back of the net it has or how with the bar is it no it is into the back of the net Chloe Conway with the goal the goalkeeper was under pressure there was a player right in beside her and the ball just dropped under the crossbar and into the back of the net and Chloe Conway has got Craig Barnes second goal of the game 2-1 to 1-2 and here they come again buoyed on by that goal and the ball's across the centre and it's well picked up there and the effort coming in from Orla O'Kane and Orla O'Kane extends the lead out further to 2-2 to 1-2 Orla's first point of the day but Chloe Conway with that goal And we're coming up just over 15 minutes on the clock so it'll soon be water break time and what an opening 15 minutes of football we've had between these two sides we expected it as the ball's up here the foot was in again Jeff Lee McGonagall was saying that the foot was in but it's a free to Carol McCluskey and Belair and the ball's away into the corner and it's going to be picked up here now by Orla Holt Orla Hull cutting inside there's a chance here maybe for the full fort the effort coming in has she cut it inside the post I think she has yes she has says the umpire as he goes for the flag and that's the second point of the day for Olivia Doherty and that could be water break time or is the referee going to let play continue he's just telling to give back the ball I think he is calling water break he is that's water break time 2-2 two, two to 1-3 what an opening 15 minutes of football we've had. Both teams going all at it. Craig Ban playing that direct route in looking for the full forward Orlo Kane. As both sides come over to get a well earned water break because they've given it their all out there so far. But sometimes the water break can just disrupt a team or disrupt both teams but hopefully not because that has been entertaining stuff in that opening 15 minutes of football 2-2 two, two to 1-3 as you will see on your scoreboard down in your bottom left hand corner and in your picture is the match officials having a little talk maybe of stuff that was maybe spotted off the ball or something that was going on Theresa Madden wishing the best of luck to Kira Moore out there. There is the man himself behind the camera. Cahal McCosker in your picture. And do check out his photographs from the game. Maybe he probably will have them up tonight. He usually does be on the ball so he'll have them up pretty quickly. And if not definitely tomorrow morning but they will be out of the top draw with Cahal. Both teams, the referee happy enough out there, having a little chat, not rushing the two teams back out. Probably needs a breather himself, maybe does Kieran Quinn, because it has been really electric pace in that opening 15 minutes. Craig Bann breaking away from their huddle. Balearn beginning to move away from theirs now, and I'm sure Jeffrey McGonagall had a few words to say to the Craig Bann girls, but I'm sure he's happy enough with how they have performed so far. Both these sides met in last year's Carnival Pell Nagel final, which was won by Belier back in last year. But both these sides have recorded victories in the under 19 grade this year, both taking home silverware. Belier taking the under 19 A Shield title, while Craig Bann took the under 19 B Shield title. So the under 19s, the work has been done at underage and they're playing dividends. But who is going to take home that junior title tonight? It would be a brave person to call who it's going to be. But here come Belier. That's the trail at the moment. Trying to work our way through there. And the referee's whistle sounds. The ball seemed to be just pulled out of the hands there of Mary Thea McGlinchey. So it's going to be a free in. And a chance here for Claude Moore, who scored that stunning goal for them earlier on. Into the top corner. One you will be fit to watch later on if you've missed it and you're only joining us. Do catch it later on. Clotus effort comes in but I think she's pulled it to the wrong side of the post and just out and wide of the target Eva! 
Angie O'Connell wishing the Belairn girls the very best of luck and watching from down under in Australia cheering on Craig Bann is Connor Harkin you're very welcome Connor and I'm sure it's a little bit warmer down there than it is here in Obeg tonight on the first day of October but these girls out in front of us are definitely warming us up with a wonderful game of football so far as Craig Bann gather up that loose ball driving out of defence is the wing halfback Shanna Contwell lays it off to Aideen McGonagall drives it along again looking in there and trying to get in behind was Keeper Devine but the goalkeeper's quickly off her line to gather possession there and play a wonderful ball out Kira McAleary to pick out Kate McFerrin McFerrin has fouled away over on the far side for Belairn and she plays it up along the line and it's a good one too to pick out the midfielder Tegan Mullen Mullen using her pace up along the far side she's still going as Mullen She's about to enter the 21 metre line. Plays it across now and looking for Eva Mullen. But just slips through the hands of, sorry, Claude Amour it was. Claude Amour turns her player though. Might jinx in here. Might think of another goal. She's still going as Moore. Moore gets the effort away. And Moore pops it over the bar. She's a real handful. It's Claude Amour. And she reduces the deficit to the minimum. Hello to Cathy Black Knight. Tuning her way from Lincolnshire. Cheering on Belairn. And also to Q McAllister. Wishing the girls the best of luck. Possibly cheering on both teams is cute. But here come Craig Bann again. Just hits the back of her own player. Unfortunate there. And Belairn will pick up that loose ball. As they come forward again. Trying to jinx her way through. And she's been pulled back as he from her. Or Aoife. Mullen apologies. So Aoife away over to the far side making a little bit of work here Emma McCluskey mightn't thank her for it but she has plenty of time to pick it up as Emma and Emma coming forward was part of the county minor panel as well was Emma cutting inside looking to get support though and a good challenge in there from Craig Bant to toe poke it forward and it's picked up by Dervla Devine scored the opening goal of the game and Devine driving forward here and she's been pulled back says the referee and Devine letting it long again for the dangerous two in there but that's well read by Kiva Higgins the dangerous two of course Orlo Kane and Kiva Devine but Adrienne Bradley drives it along and the ball is broken down and it's picked up by Belair and a chance here for the midfielder to go through again but a push on the back there on Tegan Moore Mullet who has really started very brightly for Belair and she wins a free and this will be an opportunity here to level matters but nope Claude Moore decides to play it over to the side it's back to Moore again Moore gives it back again they're kind of playing a 1-2 between them there Orla Hull Orla Hull's effort comes back off the upright but it's not cleared yet it might be an opportunity here for the full forward to level it up and she turns over and Happy turns away as the ball sails over the bar from Olivia Doherty and the sides are level here in Umbeg two quick points since the water break and that's Doherty's third point of the day Brian Devine wishing Craig Bann the best of luck. And the referee's whistle sounds again. Kira Moore a judge to a foul. Emma McCluskey away over on that far side. So Adrian Bradley in your picture. He's going to take it. But decides to give it to Aoife Mullen. So Aoife drives it along the line. There's a race for possession here, but it's the Craig Bann girl that gets out in front. The corner back there, and she done well was Megan Gormley. Gormley put under pressure, though. There's a lot of red and white jerseys around her, but she got away from the challenges. Now with Brona Feeney. Feeney driving it long, but again, Kiva Higgins read that one well. But Kiva's pass just had a little bit too much on it, and it's out over the far sideline. Tara McVeigh holds the flag up to signal. A sideline ball which Kira Moore is going to take. And Kira again going that direct route, but under it again it's Kiva Higgins, but it's broken down over them this time. A little bit of soccer skill here from Orla O'Kane. Orla O'Kane's going to go on. What a goal from Orla O'Kane! Soccer skills from Orla O'Kane! And it's a third goal for Belair with a clinical finish from O'Kane to rifle the ball into the back of the net. She wasn't prepared to go down and pick it up. And why would you when you had a finish like that? 
as the ball is knocked away again but the referee says illegally so she went through the back of the midfielder there Emma McCluskey so 3-2 to 1-5 in favour of Craig Bam, who seem to be capable of getting those goals and here come Belieran again working hard with McFerrin again that's a wonderful ball over the top and going after it is Claude Moore. Claude Moore now trying to use her soccer skills but that just went away from her and it's picked up by the full back Tamara Hassan Hassan cleared so he goes as far as Adrian Bradley gathers possession despite the best effort to Kira Moore it slips through the hands Adrian Bradley's not going to give up though but she has slipped on the ground and touched the ball on the ground quick free taken too quickly because they're giving possession away McFerrin battling for possession but she's only given it back there too Craig Bowen picked up now by Dermla Devine quick offload from Devine to the midfielder Bruno Feeney but wonderful challenging back there from Belier to get back a good battling back from the Belier and Gear to win possession back and win herself and her side a free it's just feeling the force of it I think it's Emma McCluskey it is the midfielder it is indeed number 9 Emma McCluskey that has been fouled there but that was good battling back when Craig Bann looked to be trying to break away. Just a nice pack being held there too. The side of a player. It wasn't the girl that was fouled. It's another girl that picked up the knock. But this free is going to be taken here by Aoife Mullen. Who drives it long again but it was well read by Bruna Feeney. Feeney spreads it into the centre. Oh, it's well played there from Kira Moore. Just nipped in ahead of her, her marker there and offloads it now to Dervla Devine. Devine bends her back, gathers possession under pressure from Emma Kluski. Gives it back again to Kira Moore. Kira Moore dances inside the challenge. Let's it all ball in round the danger area. And the referee's whistle has sounded. A foul there on Kiva Devine. Kiva Higgins is not happy with the decision. But it's a free in to Craig Bann. She felt that the Craig Bann girl had, or the Belieran girl had been fouled. But the referee, Kieran Quinn, says that the first infringement was on Kiva Devine. And Megan Gormley is now receiving treatment. And a chance here for Orlo Kane to extend the Craig Bann lead out to a four-point advantage. As so Kane settles herself. She's got plenty of height in it, but more importantly for her, she's got the direction. So 3-3 three, three to 1-5. One, 1-2 one, for O'Kane already. In this game. Declan Rowe wishing Craig Bann the best of luck. Well, it's going so far so well for, for the girls in green and white. And they're trying to take this free quickly. And the referee, I don't think, is going to move that one forward because the Belian girl really did not have time to move away. So Kira Moore is going to take this free, just inside the 45 metre line. And I'm sure she's going to try and launch it in again, on top of Orlo Kane. And Orlo Kane was kind of con going to come short there, but she's telling her to get back in, and it's coming in now, but Kiva Higgins come out there and done enough to get a hand on it. As the referee it's whistle sounds for a foul there on Aoife Mullet. Supporting a bandage just below her left knee, as you will see. So Aoife, with this free, looking for somebody to make the move though, and at the moment, the movement is few and far between. But now the team captain does so. And Craig Bann, well, True McFerrin, has found a bit of space, and now... But that's a good challenge coming in there from Derby Devine. But well held off there by Orla Hull. And Orla Hull wins a free. She wasn't going to give up the ball too easily. It just slips through the hands there of the full forward. Olivia Doherty. And it's the full back. Tamara Hassan that gathers up that loose ball. But as I say that she gives possession away to Kate McFerrin. McFerrin's low trajectory pass in to Doherty. Doherty the full forward looking for support may over carry here was unsure what to do with Olivia Doherty and she took too long out of the ball and Kira Moore goes back to take this free for Craig Bant who lead as you'll see on the scoreboard 3-3 three, three to 1-5 that one up along the sideline but it's well read there by Michaela Mullet who gathers possession in the cornerback position and up along the far line again is Craig Bant and the referee's whistle 
Sounds again for another free. Tegan Mullen wins it for Balear. And the ball into the centre to McFerrin. Liking to get forward, but the referee says not from the correct position. You must take it again. Which Tegan Mullen will do exactly that. And plays it into the centre. The ball broken down, but it's well picked up there. And looked to be a lot of steps there too. But coming out of it is Conwell again. And Conwell, ball forward here. The ball broken down. Brona Feeney holds off the challenge and gathers possession, but she can't get the ball away. And the referee's whistle sounds again as Brona Feeney is fouled. So a chance for Craig Ban. Feeney going to take this herself. No, nope, she leaves it to Aideen McGonagall, who spreads it over here now to Kira Moore. Kira Moore gives it back again to McGonagall. McGonagall, or not McGonagall, it's the full forward. O'Kane. And O'Kane's effort sails between the posts and she gets half a chance Orla O'Kane will split the posts was talking to her mother before the game and she was looking forward to this one but as all mothers do when their daughters or their sons is playing does that nerves among them and Kira Moore fouling Aoife Mullen there Kira was pleading her innocence a little bit of pushing and shoving there between Aoife Mullen and Aideen McGonagall his temper's just heating up a little bit here in Ombeg Belier you'd feel just need to score that's 1-2 without reply now for Craig Bant as the ball spread over to the far side here might be the opportunity now coming through it's Claude Amour, Claude Amour have goal on the mind here she's going through but that's a good block there from the full back Tamara Hassan but the referee's going back for a free for a tug on the jersey on Moore. But Tamara Hassan stood firm there to block the shot. But it is going to be a free in to Belair. And a chance here for Moore. He'll be disappointed when that opportunity arose that she didn't get the effort away a bit quicker. But she takes her point. He said they needed a score. And the habit from Claude Moore to reduce the deficit ever so slightly. 3-4 to 1-6 with half time approaching. As a kick out here comes from the goalkeeper, Danielle McKinney. The ball up here, but she couldn't take it first time. Aoife Mullen gathers possession and she is fouled. As the ball, the free is taken quickly. Over to the far side. And Craig Bant trying to come forward here. Adrienne Bradley, did she get a blow to the face there? But she's trying to get away from the challenge, but... She couldn't do so and she's overcarried. And Kira Moore is going to take this free. She lets a shout out there for Aideen McGonagall to make the run. Under pressure now from Aoife Mullen. Fouled by Aoife. Not to the liking of the Belieran support, it must be said. As Bruno Feeney lets this one in long, but Kiva Higgins read that one well and beat the ball down. Adrian Bradley in possession. Could be caught in possession here, but the referee's whistle. No, he's gone to Craig Bann for a foot in. As Chloe Conway went in for that loose ball. So Kira Moore is going to drop this one in around the danger area again. But play could be held up here. Because off the ball, there's a Craig Bann girl down. And I see Tara McVeigh in there as well. Maybe just saying that she didn't see anything and she's just making sure that Kira Moore doesn't feel a steal a yard or two with the free so play had just been held up she is back on her feet it was Orla O'Kane it was that was down moving a little bit gingerly but she's back on her feet so it's going to be a free in here too Craig Bant who lead by 3-4 to 1-6 so can they finish the half with another score it's a dangerous one dropped in there, but it slips through the hands and it's picked up by Aoife Mullet, who's pulled to the ground. And the referee may be taking the book out soon, I think. There's a lot of frees going in now. But has he called he's called a halt to the opening half? So it's half time here in Owen Beg. With Craig Bann going in, leading by 3-4 to 1-6 in a rip-roaring opening half of football. As the sides make their way into the 
The dressing room's here, down below us. Valier maybe staying on the field or are they going in? I think they must be going in. So it's half time. We will be back very, very shortly. Don't go anywhere because that first half is anything to go by. We're in for a rip roaring second period as well. Half time here, as you will see on the scoreboard. Craig Bond 3 4, Balear 1 6. We'll be back very, very soon.
Yeah, welcome back to Own Bag again for the second half of this Junior Championship decider. That's evenly poised. 3-4 to 1-6 as you'll see. The second half about to get underway, just waiting on the match officials. The players are in position. The match officials enjoying their cup of tea down below. Re-emerge into the park to get this second half underway. Well, the opening half was one of quality football. Coming a little heated towards half time. So it'll be interesting to see how they are now at the start of the second half, which is underway. Picked up there by Bruno Fini. Fini comes forward, drives it along. The rain begins to come down here now. Unfortunately, here we thought maybe we could have got away with it for the evening, but not on this occasion. As Aoife Mullen clears her lines up there, and it's well picked up by Adrian Bradley, but put under pressure there by Conwell. But Bradley again gets in, but the referee says that she had a knee on the ground as she picked the ball up. So it's going to be a free to Craig Ban. And it's launched in there, looking for Dervla Devine. Devine coming forward here, plays it inside, but that's going to be well read by the Belieren defence. Adrian Bradley back there again for the Belieren girls. I see it clear, the ball up the far side. It's a race for possession, but it's going to be shepherded out over the sideline there by... Ashley Mortimer, one of the two Mortimer sisters, and Sarah Mullen wishing the Mortimer sisters the very best of luck. That was one of them there, Ashley. And the other one, number eight, Marie. As Billy Aaron went a free. Danny McAleese wishing the girls the best of luck. Mary Mackett, Elise also wishing the Billy Aaron girls good luck. Come on, Michaela. As the wind picks up a little bit here now. With that shower of rain falling here in Ombeg. For any of us maybe that are tuned in and not sure where Ombeg is. Just on the outskirts of Dungiven. As this free for Craig Bant is dropped in there. To the full forward Orlo Kane. It's 1-3 one to, to our name already. The ball in here. Chance, an opportunity for the corner forward. Back out here now to Eddie McGonagall. McGonagall's effort comes in. And McGonagall's effort sails between the posts for the first score of the second half. So 3-5 to 1-6 now. And that's 18th for score of the day. Coming here at the start of the second half. So the kick out finds this target down here. That's Belier. She just leaves the ball behind her there momentarily. Did Tegan Mullet. But she had time to pick up the loose ball. And it's thrown forward into the corner. Gathering position as the corner forward here. Roisin Barr. Roisin Barr turns away from her player. Plays it inside now. An opportunity here for Emma McCluskey. She was pulled back. Referee plays the advantage. McCluskey's little toe poke forward. No advantage. Referee going back for the earlier free. And this Errigal Junior Championship decider. Coming to you live with thanks to SBS Productions and Derry LGFA. Live from Owen Beg, Centre of Excellence here. The intermediate final coming up tomorrow night, of course. Clodagh Moore's effort coming in. It's a dangerous one, but it has got the distance. I thought it was a dangerous. It was going to drop short, but not with Clodagh Moore. She pops it over the bar. 1-2 to her name. It's a much-needed score for Craig Bant. Just keeps them hanging in there. Clodagh Moore has been their main score-getter so far. Helen Crossan wishing Craig Bant the best of luck. Well, Helen, they're going well so far. That kick out. Just goes over the head of the Belieren gear, but Belieren have it picked up. Adrian, and that's a good ball in. Adrian Bradley looking for Claude Muir, but the goalkeeper is quickly off her line. It was good defending in there as well. Held off Claude Muir. She tried to break through, but the goalkeeper was quickly off her line. Was Danielle McKinney to pick up that loose ball? Aoife Mullen driving forward, the All Ireland boxing champion. Shows the ball and just jinks the other way. Still going as Mullen. Under 16 county start has been pulled back. Did a big part in Derry winning the under 16 Ulster title earlier this year. A player of the future. And here's another one who is part of the county minor panel. Claude Moore with the opportunity from this free. She looks happy with it as she turns away. From the moment it left her boot, she felt it was only going to one place. And it has sailed over the bar to reduce the deficit. 3 5 to 1 8. This rip roaring Ergel Junior Club Championship final as they kick out from the goalkeeper is knocked down. And Craig Bann get their hands on the ball with Conwell. And Craig Bann trying to break their way out now with Anna Sharkey. 
but she has been dispossessed by Adrienne Bradley who's really coming more into the game in looking there for the full forward Doherty Doherty trying to break away from the challenge cuts inside can't get the effort away and the referee says she is over carried good defending though from Tamara Hassan the full back for Craig Bann putting her under pressure and Craig Bann have possession back again but they've nearly given away but Kira Moore was there to pick it up quick offload from Moore then to Marie Mortimer Mortimer looks ahead of herself plays it into space but that space was almost taken up by the full back Kiva Higgins but in there is Derbla Devine Devine offloads it now it's with Orlo O'Kane Orlo O'Kane turns away from the challenge O'Kane getting it onto her left foot gets the effort away and the referee's whistle has sounded for a late challenge on O'Kane so it's going to be a free in here to Craig Bann and an opportunity for Orla O'Kane, who has got 1-3 already in that opening half, has a chance for her first score of the second half. And just extend the lead out to a four-point advantage again for Craig Bann. But she's going to leave it here for Aideen McGonagall, who hit the opening score of the second half. Daughter, of course, of the manager, Jeffrey, An animated Jeffrey along the sideline in that opening half. So the effort from 18 comes in, but it hasn't got the legs. It's dropping short. They might be playing against the breeze a little bit here in the second half, because I said it did pick up with that shower of rain. And Belairn have won a free out for themselves, so a let off there. Disappointment for Craig Bann, who are getting ready to make a change also. I see coming about to come on is Clodagh Crossan. But here come Belairn again with that girl, Adrienne Bradley. Bradley driving through the centre here. And still going. And she got the jersey tugged back there. But the referee didn't see it and the effort goes on. And it goes between the posts and over the bar. A strong run through the centre. I said it was Adrian. Apologies. Of course it was Tegan Mullen. I thought it was number six but it was Tegan Mullen. With the effort she got the jersey tugged back. The referee didn't see it but it didn't matter. Because Tegan popped it over the bar and suddenly three in a row for Balearn. Has it back to a two-point game. Belier and also getting ready to make a change. Shannon McCluskey is about to come in. The sister of Emma, the midfielder. So Belier has started this second half. Meaning business with almost seven minutes on the clock. And they have a free for themselves. Away over in the far side. With Aoife Mullen, not for the first time, she finds herself on the ground, following a foul. She's going to leave it here for the full forward, Olivia Doherty. Three points in the opening half. And you can just see the flag behind her there, beginning to blow as that effort comes in. But disappointingly, out to the wrong side of the post and wide. The referee just holding up player for the substitution and it's going to be for both teams at the one time. The two number 17s coming in. Shana McCluskey for Beliran is into the fray. And the player that is coming off is Roisin Barr. And coming off the Craig Ban side, I think it's Dervla Devine who scored a goal in the first half. And going in is Clodagh Crossan. Loaded Gemma Brawley tuned their way. Watching this contest here from Owen Begg. And there's a bit of pushing and shoving. And the referee going for the top pocket here. And there could be a little bit of action being taken. As Kieran Quinn comes over. The free seemed to be for Craig Bann. And the referee... Coming over here to chat to Tara McVeigh, the lines person. So involved was Orla Hull, Belairn, and Jeremy McCluskey, the team captain of Craig Ban. He said it was getting a little bit heated just before half time. Seemed to have settled a little bit, but that there was the first real heated moment of the second half, and the referee, Kieran Quinn, may have to take action here. He has got the book out. Not just sure who he's going to... He might be waiting on Orla Hull, who's receiving treatment at the moment. 
He has the book out, has Kieran Quinn, and he is calling over Orla Hult, is he? No. No, he's just noting. No action taken. Most definitely the Craig Ban support are not happy with nothing being taken. Kira Moore isn't happy at all. She can't understand it. And the booze ringing out around on big. As the free is taken for Craig Ban into Maria Mortimer. Mortimer loses possession though. Belier and have it back. As that challenge comes in there and the referee could well be taking the number here of Kira Moore who wasn't happy with the previous decision and she's showing a yellow card is Kira Moore so she is sent to the sin bin for that shoulder in on the Balearn girl so Kira Moore has been sin bin Jeffrey McGonagall not happy that there wasn't a yellow card shown for the previous challenge but I said it was just getting a little bit heated so it's a free to Belier, way over to the far side as the race for possession picked up there by the corner forwards up there and that there's Michaela Mullen Michaela gives it back out as Belier try to prize an opening Emma McCluskey ball inside now to Adrian Bradley inside to the full forward Doherty Doherty little toe poke out here and an opportunity that's a good challenge coming in and from the full centre half back and the referee says that it's going to be a free end of Belier she tried to pull the ball out of her hand and a chance here for Clodemur to reduce the deficit but the referee having words here though with one of the Belier girls but Clodemur with the opportunity his tempers just rise a little bit Clodagh Moore with the opportunity to reduce the deficit even more. Moore with the effort. Moore with the point from the free. Her third point of the second half. And she has won five to her name. So Belair now with the numerical advantage with Kira Moore in the sin bin. They're coming forward again. But they still find themselves a point adrift as Craig Bann get possession back over on the far side. As they come forward with the corner back there, Ashley Mortimer. But Belier hunting in packs, trying to turn the ball over again. Now it's with Orlo Kane. Probably come out a little bit deeper now following that sin bin for Kira Moore. So Orlo Kane may play that position now. And the referee is awarded a free to Belier. Will he let play continue? He will, even though it wasn't taken from the right place. But they've given possession away. And it's picked up here by Shanna Conwell. Conwell's effort slips through the hands of one Belier girl into the hands of the other. So Belier and have it back again in this entertaining junior championship final. Live from Owen Beg with thanks to SBS Productions at Derry LGFA. And here come Belier, trailing by a point at the moment but with the numerical advantage. Ball inside with the cornerback, Michaela Mullen. Quick offload from Mullen. And a chance here to level it up, possibly. The effort comes in, but it's gone to the wrong side of the post. And wide a missed chance there for Belier. An opportunity goes a-begging. As the kick out comes from Danielle McKinney. It's a short one out. Belier or Craig Ban gather possession, but have they given away? There's a battle there. A loose ball is picked up by Claude Amir, but the referee says that the Craig Ban gear was fouled. So it's a free to the green and white of Craig Ban. Ball into the centre. Wasn't the best of balls. Two girls down on the ground, but it's picked up there by Belier and an opportunity going through the centre is Orla Hull. Ball broken away from Hull, but the referee says the hand was going in, slapping the ball out of her hands. And it's going to be a free end of Belier. And this is an opportunity for Claude Moore to level up this junior championship final. With almost 14 minutes gone in this second half of this lively, entertaining junior decider. Sponsored by Errigal. And a chance for Moore. One five to her name already. One three of that coming in the first half. One two of that coming. One three apologies in the first half for Moore. And she's three points in the second half. So one six for Moore. This a chance 
to make it 1-7 for herself but more importantly tie up this junior decider and get her side back on level terms but in the meantime receiving treatment is Michaela Doherty she's back on her feet so now it's the chance for Moore a little bit of advice there from Michaela Mullen Orlo Cain will have to move away the two of them know each other pretty well there's Cloda and Orla opposite teams but played well and played with each other in the county set up as Cloda Moore makes no mistake with the free and we're level in Oombeg 111 14 to 3 5 14 level pegging Balearn with her tails up come again with Adrian Bradley Back to Bradley again. The centre half back is coming more and more into this contest. Ball in here, but a straight to the other number six in the team captain, Geraldine McCluskey. McCluskey clears her lines away over on the far side. But it's Belearn that are going to win the race for possession. They have it back again, and it's played into the centre. Remember, they have the numerical advantage with Kira Moore in the sin bin. But here come Belearn, who are really dominating this second half. And the ch late challenge coming in there. And the referee says play on. And B Craig Barron do exactly that. With Conwell. Quick offload from Conwell but the referee halts play. Due to the injury there for the Belearn gear. So the lines person going in, Tara McVeigh going in here, so the referee may actually go back to this incident. If Tara, the lines person, has seen anything. He is going for the notebook. It'll be interesting to see if he takes any action. No, I don't think he is. I think he's going to let play continue with this ball here for Craig Bowen down in front of us. Shanna Conwell. Little toe poke forward looking for Maria Mortimer. Mortimer has it. She spreads it over the top. Looking for the run there. At the corner forward, but she's beaten to it. It's Chloe Conway. Ball close to the sideline. Picked up there by McFerrin. McFerrin has given possession away though. Craig Bann have it back, but there's only Belearn girls in there and they pick up that loose ball. Belear now coming from defence, trying to turn defence into attack. And they're doing exactly that, but she just slips on the ground and that gives an opportunity for Shauna Conwell, who has been superb for Craig Bann, to pick up that loose ball. And she plays a good ball out here now to Dervla Devine. Dervla Devine comes forward, plays it over the top. An opportunity now for Aideen McGonagall. McGonagall bears in on goal, fists it inside, but it hasn't got enough on it. It's well read there by Kiva Higgins. Maybe Aideen should have went herself, but Kiva Higgins clears her lines for Belearn. It's a dangerous ball, took a wicked bounce, didn't suit the Belearn girl. Picked up there by Ashley Mortimer, who has fouled. So free in to Craig Bann. And this will run down the time, of course, that Kira Moore is in the sin bin. And an opportunity for Craig Bann to maybe edge their noses in front if they can create something from this position, but not that way, because that's been overturned. Or the hole turns it over in Belair. Now she sets off towards the Craig Bann goal. Plays a wonderful ball for the run there of Clodagh Moore. Moore goes after this one. Tracked over there by McCluskey. But Moore has it. Moore taking on McCluskey. Goes past her. Moore still going. Goes past another player. She's still going. Fisted inside. Might be a goal chance here but it just couldn't take it. And it ricochets off her ankles. It was the midfielder that was in there. Tegan Mullen. And it's out for a wide chance for Belair and goes a begging. As Gregory McGonagall is saying to Jude Dixon down below us, surely it's time for Kieran Murray to get back on there. But Jude, the fourth official, says not just yet, it's water break time first. Don't go anywhere. We're in for a rip roaring final quarter here in Ombeg. And this junior decider, the sides locked together. 3 5 to Craig Bann, 1 11 to Belearn. What a junior decider we're having. Live from Owen Beg, wherever you are in the world, hopefully you're enjoying it. Belearn 
coming really back into it in the second half. Outscoring Craig Bann five points to one in that opening quarter of that second period to tie up matters when the trail by three, four to one, six at the break. Just the one point for Craig Bann in, in the second half so far. Kira Moore will be soon resuming play. Remember tomorrow night, the intermediate final. Down for decision as well. And next weekend then, of course, is the senior one. But tonight, it's all about the juniors. It's all about Belieren and Craig Bann at the moment. As the final words of encouragement from the management teams. Anthony Mullen and DJ Moore in the middle of that Belieren huddle. Down to my right-hand side, Gregory McGonagall, or Jeffrey McGonagall, apologies. In the middle of the Craig Bann huddle. And I'm sure Jeffrey has plenty of words in there to try and lift his troops and keep them going for the remainder of this game. With Belieren at the moment, with their tails up and on top. As the cheers from both sides, man, subs, and the large number of spectators here trying to encourage their side. So play will resume with a kick out for Danielle McKinney, the Craig Bann goalkeeper. Hello to Caramel Devine, tuned in. There's a kick out here, but it's going to be intercepted by Adrian Bradley. Bradley with the effort and Belieren are in front. Adrian Bradley, who has really lit up the second half, has put Belieren in front straight after the water break. Driving from centre half back. And that's the first time since they hit the two opening points of the day that Belieren have got their noses in front. Bruno Feeney with the kick out. The free. But that's straight to Aoife Mullen. And Mullen driving forward here for Belieren. Cuts inside the challenge. Runs into the Craig Van gear. But dances away and then is pulled back there by Dervla Devine. Kira Moore about to resume as Jude Dixon looks at his watch. Aoife Mullen looking for the full forward in there, Olivia Doherty. Comes off the ankles of Doherty. Doherty can keep it in play. Now she's stepped out over the sideline. Sideline ball to Craig Bahn. And it's going to be taken here by Megan Gormley. As Jude Dixon gets ready. And sends Kira Moore back into the fray. So Craig Bann back to the 15 players. As the challenge comes in there and Craig Bann almost turned it over. But Belieren do enough. And now it's with Adrian Bradley again. Bradley who kicked that point to edge her side in front. Plays a wonderful ball away over to the far side. Looking for the run of Orla Hull. But Orla Hull couldn't keep it in play. So it's going to be a sideline ball to Craig Bann. Inside their own 45 metre line. It's taken quickly. As the Belieren girl goes to ground, the Craig Bann girl picks it up, Clodagh Crossan. Wonderful block down over there. As Belieren tried to turn that one over, but Craig Bann have it back again and they've won a free right in front of the referee. And Kira Moore gets ready to take it. And she plays a great ball over here to Dervla Devine. Devine now heads towards the Craig Bann goal, but they're getting back at her. She cuts inside, another challenge comes in there, and she goes to ground. As Belieren turned the ball over and come out of defence. With it, coming driving forward the midfielder there, Tegan Mullen, and plays it up now. And here come Claude Moore, and back to Orla Hull, back to Moore again. Moore coming driving in, Moore might go for goal, took a deflection over the bar. Claude Moore with the point, Valier and two in front. 1-13 to 3-5. The Valier and girls edging towards the junior title, referee saying give the ball back to the, the goalkeeper because Orlo Kane 
down the other side. Well, it's not Orla, but she's doing a little bit of stretching with the girl that is down on the ground. I think, it, I think it's Dervla Divine that time that she made that run through the centre went down. So she is receiving treatment at the other end of the field. So play will resume with this kick out, which is going to be taken by the full back here. Tamara Hassan. Dervla Divine back on her feet. So Tamara Hassan going to kick this one out. Craig Bann now have to find something from somewhere. They've been outscored in the second half. Seven points to one as Belieren have turned this game right around. Way over on the far side now is Mairead Mortimer. Little toe poke there. From Mairead Mortimer who gathered possession. Played it into the centre though. But it's Belieren that look like they're going to pick up that loose ball. Which they do so. Working her way forward there is Clodagh Moore again. Moore, quick free from Moore. An opportunity here now for Doherty. Doherty's going to have a go. She watches it. Drop in and drop over the bar from Olivia Doherty. And suddenly it's three points between the sides. Belier moving towards the junior title. And they've won possession down below us again with Aoife Mullen has been absolutely superb and she plays the ball in now to Orla Hull Hull offloads it to Doherty just after they kick the point can she add another one? no she can't right to the wrong side of the post and wide you are tuned to SVS Productions live from Owen Beg for this arrogant junior football championship decider as the ball out round the centre Bodies go to ground. Referee says free end of Belieren. Emma McCluskey is the girl that was fouled. Jeffrey McGonagall shouts instructions down in front of us. Trying to get the Craig Bang girls lifted. And he's telling them to move forward into their positions because they've been sucked back into defence. That due to the pressure from Belieren at the second half. They've been much the better side and they've laid siege on the Craig Ban goal in this second period. Outscoring them seven points to one. To now lead 114 to 35. This girl has been instrumental in the Belieren performance so far. Aoife Mullen goes past the challenge, fouled by Maria Mortimer. A high challenge and the referee has the book out again. Is he going to send in another Craig Ban girl? Mairead Mortimer waits to see what the outcome is going to be from Kieran Quinn. We wait to see. Is he going to pull something? The card out of that pocket. He has the hand in the pocket. He's waiting for Aoife Mullet. No, I don't think he is. I think he's just happy enough just to note the number. Yeah, no further punishment for Maria Mortimer but it is a chance for Clodemur it would be a massive kick a massive kick for Clodemur if she can pop this one between the posts one eight to her name already it's dropping it's going to drop short the goalkeeper leaves her lines and the ball slipped to the back of the net but the referee's whistle has sounded it's not going to be allowed it's been disallowed it's a free out instead to Craig Bann maybe for a square ball the ball's over to the far side so there's still a lifeline here for your Craig Bann girls but they've given away a free over on the far side as Ballyern keep the pressure on ball into the centre and it's Craig Bann that gather possession but they really can't get the ball up the other end of the field they're struggling and they give possession away again as Ballyern just keep coming in their droves at this Craig Ban side. And there's another free. And it's the midfielder, Keegan Mullen, that has been pulled back. And Kira Moore, the culprit, who has already been in the sin bin. So she has to watch herself that she doesn't go. And the referee. We wait to see. Is he taking further action here? Or is he happy enough just to give the free? He's doing a lot of writing here. 
But no, he's still writing as we watch him. No, he's happy enough as Clodimer gets plenty of power in that one, but it's just not the, di the direction on this occasion as it sails out and wide. But the clock is ticking and it's very much against Craig Bannon at this moment. As they really struggle to get the ball out of their own half of the field, but they've won possession now. And here's an opportunity for Conwell. She's done all she can for them. As they try to come forward here, Conwell's still going. Under pressure there from Adrienne Bradley. Fouled by Bradley. They'll need to try and get the ball to Orla O'Kane. She's lurking. Lurking on the 21 metre line, but they can't get the ball in there. As they give possession away again, have they? Aideen McGonigal tries to win possession. The referee has given them a free. As Craig Bann edged closer, now it's launched in towards O'Kane. O'Kane has it. She turns and heads towards the goals. This is the girl that won on possession, but she's quickly crowded out. Gets the ball over to the other side. The effort comes in, but the goalkeeper is there. It hadn't the power to beat Kira McAleary. And she clears her lines now for Belairn. Can Belairn get the insurance score? They're trying to work their way up the field. Ball for the run up here. An opportunity now for Orla Hull up against... Conwell, Conwell puts in the challenge the referee has awarded the free to Beleren Orla Hull wins the free and this one slow it down the referee wants to have a word here with Shauna Conwell and he's calling her over and Shauna may be seeing out the remainder of the game in the sin bin yes she is a second yellow card for Craig Bond and they will have to try and fight their way back with just 14 players as the clock ticks into additional time back with Aoife Mullen ball drove forward Kira Moore gets a hand to it but racing after this one is Tegan Mullen who has really lit up Owen Begg as well there's been so many stars in particular in the second half for Belair and here come the red and white brigade again with Doherty the full forward that comes off the side or about but the ball's not dead yet it bounces in there who's going to gather possession McFerrin or the corner forward Tegan Mullen, the effort comes across. Nikila Mullen with the effort, but it's took a deflection. It's out for a 45. That will suit Belairn. That will run down even more time on the clock. With the scoreboard 114 to 35. Outscoring their opponents in the second half. Eight points to one. 3-4 to 1-6. Craig Ballon led at the break. But Belairn have turned this right around in the second half and are on their way to the junior title as Claude Amour gets ready to take this 45, 1-8 to her name ball in there, picked up by Kira Moore though for Craig Barn. when there's only one kick of the ball between them there's still a lifeline for the Craig Barn girls ball up here now to Aidy McGonagall McGonagall looks ahead of herself, lets it in long now Looking for the run there of Orlo Kane. Can she keep it in play along the sideline? Yes, she can. Looks ahead of herself. Wonderful ball over, but just too much on it. It looked like it was about to pick out Chloe Conway, but the goalkeeper left her line there to pick up the loose ball. And Balear have it back and play the ball long. Looking for Orlo Hull. Hull has it. Turns and heads towards the Craig Bando. Looking for the insurance score. Ball into the corner. As they try to work their way through with Michaela Mullen. Ball inside. Challenge goes in there. Going through is Eva Mullen. She wins a free in. And surely this is the opportunity for Balearan to put the insurance score between the posts. And an opportunity for Claude Amour. But not on this occasion. It's going to be the full forward. And she does exactly that. Does Olivia Doherty. Her fifth of the day. And surely that's the score that finally has put this junior title to the bed and Balearn will be taking the cup back home with them. The referee takes a look at the watch. Ball broken down. It's Balearn that pick up the loose ball again. A little tug on the jersey there on Emma McCluskey. Referee playing the advantage. And the ball into the corner. But the advantage is over so he's letting Craig Bann get on with it with Tamara Hassan. Up looking for Kira Moore who has fouled Aoife Mullen again. She's everywhere is the number five. Remember she was on the county under 16s this year. An All-Ireland boxing champion. She's about to become a junior club champion here in the county of Derry for her club Balearn. As Claude Amour, part of the county minor panel, drives that one in. 
has been kept in play. No, it hasn't, despite the best efforts there of Kiana McCluskey. But surely this one is all but over as Craig Ban have been put on the back foot in the second half. There's two balls on the, the field there, but the referee lets it go on. As McCluskey gets the ball away. Craig Ban try to work their way out, but Balear are not letting them build from the back. As Kieran Moore does well to keep that one in play, but those is the lines person Tara McVeigh. Tara McVeigh has the flag up. A line ball to Balearn. I thought Kira had just kept it in play. But it's a Balearn sideline ball. And it's going to be taken by Aoife Mullen. Plays it inside. That comes off the hands and picked up there by Marie Mortimer. Craig Ban are still battling. They're going to keep going. Kira Moore has possession. Plays it into the centre to Maria Mortimer. Mortimer put under pressure. Needs to get the ball away. Challenge comes in there. Referee says illegally so from McFerrin. So it's a free, which is going to be taken by Kira Moore. And the referee may move it forward here. He is indeed. As Kira Moore tried to take that one quickly, but there's four points between the sides. 18 plays 14 here in this Errigal Junior Football Championship decider. As the ball is played in there, but Belieren look like they're going to clear that one up. And they do so, put under pressure and fouled. Back there was Mary Thea, Thea McGlinchey to win the free out for her side. And you would feel it's as good as a score at this time to run down the clock. The ball drove forward looking for Hull. Hull gathers possession. Orla Hull lets the ball on up looking for the run there of Claude Moore, but it's too far ahead of Moore. And it's picked up by the referee's whistle sounds. And Balearn are the 2021 Junior Club Champions in Derry with a rip-roaring second half performance as they came from 3-4 to 1-6 down at the break to outscore Craig Bann in the second half. Eight points to one to run out winners in the end. Or nine points to one in the second half to run out winners. 1-15 to 3-5 in an entertaining junior decider here in Owen Bay. Brought to you live with thanks to SVS Productions and Derry LGFA. Hopefully you enjoyed it wherever you are tuned away. If you're a Belieran, I'm sure you enjoyed every second of it. But credit to the Craig Van girls too, who put it all. But on the night, they met a Belieran side that were very, very hungry, in particular in that second half, where they really laid siege on the Craig Van goal, not giving Craig Van many chances in the second half. They only hit one point. That the opening score of the second period from... Eddie McGonigal. From then, though, it was nine unanswered points from Craig Ban to run out winners with four to spare in the end. They are your Derry Junior Club champions for 2021. We'll have the presentation, and hopefully after that, we will try to get a couple of words with some of the victorious Belian girls. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us for the presentation, and hopefully a few words with some of the winners.
actually in both teams that was super football and um, for junior level it was exceptional and um, everybody's commenting on how good and how good the level is and congratulations to both management teams on a brilliant year's work. Um, we'd like to start by commiserating um, Craig Bann, uh, he's put up a very valid fight. Um, Craig Bann now proceed to the Shield and they'll now meet Dungiven and there'll be another, I would say, mighty battle there for that title. Um, so we'd like to congratulate Belair. And if we could please give Craig Bann uh, three cheers please tonight. So hip hip. tonight and I'd like to thank our officials and our sponsor Aragal for their amazing um, support over this last two years for uh, minor and senior football in this county and we couldn't have done without them. Now we're going to start off tonight um, by, with our player of the final. I have to say I've never typed the name as often into Twitter in my life and um, so tonight's uh, player of the final is number 11, Blair and Clodomir. Now if we could ask the captain of Blair to come up first please. Now tonight's cup um, has very special um, links to Blair. It is sponsored in memory of Shauna Mullen and Shauna's husband Stephen and her son are here tonight to make this very special presentation.
Welcome back. Two delighted people here in front of me. Team captain Kiva and the player of the match, Cluda. I'm going to start with the team captain Kiva. Shona Mullen Cup is on its way back to Belirn. Yeah. How does it feel? Oh, it's unbelievable that we've been waiting for this for so long. We've been beaten in too many finals, but thankfully we've done it tonight. Yep. What a game of football it was too. It was As a neutral watching, it was a cracker. It was, it was end like end. a playing. It was end to end, never stopped. Every time the ball came up to me, I was praying that Cluda would get it back right there. <laughs> but she done unbelievable. So. Second half, I don't know what your management said to you at half time, but first half, Craig Van probably just shaded it, deserved to lead at half time. But the second half performance, she's just laid siege on the Craig Van goal. No, we done unbelievable. We knew we could do it, so we just pushed on from half time, and the girls showed unbelievable determination to get us over the line. Yep. And part of that was the girl beside you. One eight to her name, Cloda. Okay. What a performance! Thank you from yourself. Thank you. How's it feel? Feels great. It's good to perform on the match days, especially championship final days. So, feels great. We've all had the luxury of watching you play for the county team. I suppose the Miners this year and winning the Ulster so this yeah. really caps off a fantastic year for you. Yeah, it really does. It was excellent one way all then girls and a great group of girls in the dairy team as well and then the Laird of a great group as well coming up so it was great to play with all of them. Talk took me through that goal. What a finish, top corner. I seen the keeper, she was over to the side of it so I just decided right might as well and what a finish. gladly <laughs> went top corner so <laughs> yeah. you look back on that one you'll enjoy it yeah. because I'm sure it will be shown plenty of times on social media it was a fantastic <laughs> finish but won't eight to your name player of the match performance but I know yourself without the ball coming into you you can't do what you do no nice coming the rest of the girls were excellent they know where to put it they know how to pass it on they know what way I play and that's excellent to play with it was really a fantastic performance award, I suppose, for Craig Ban because there has to be a loser on the day, but by God, they made use battle for that out there. Yep, tough game, best game we've played in probably for a long time. Craig, but Craig Ban have came up really well in the past couple of years, and it's everything, my heart goes out to them. We've been in that position many times, but they'll come back bigger and stronger. Yep. When you do taste defeat, moments like this even feel better. Definitely, it definitely drives you on as well, so yeah. And how special is it for the Shona Mullen Cup to be going to Belairn? Oh, it's unbelievable for Shona. She was an unbelievable Belairn supporter and she definitely was with us here tonight. She brought us over the line and she'll be so happy with us. She would have enjoyed that. She would love it. Well, girls, go down there and enjoy it with the rest of the team. They're waiting for you for a team photograph. They want the cup, they want the two girls. So away you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining Thank us. Thank you.